1994, um, the O.J. Simpson scandal occurred, but the trial was in 1995. Uh, cooking or reading? First time I performed at Aspen. Right now. No. <laughs> Too many to decide classically, but I absolutely adore Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, in the classical repertoire, probably Mozart's Sinfonia Concertante for violin and viola. And non-classically, um, All I Could Do Is Cry by Etta James. Oh, these are hard questions. Um, um, I want to say that, uh, oh God. If I had to think about the amount of pieces that have really made me like emotional, probably Shostakovich. I don't know, Domino's Pizza. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I shouldn't say. Bro. I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, probably don't cry over spilled milk. Just keep moving forward. Interviews. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. That's terrible. Um, I want to... Actually, yeah, here's, a, here's a fun answer. Um, another violin channel artist, Simone Porter, always says to me that one of the things I do best and better than pretty anyone, anyone she's ever met. She says that I make people really comfortable no matter what situation. If I've known you for 10 years or 10 minutes, I'm usually pretty good at making you feel like you can do whatever. <laughs> Laundry. I can memorize like scripts, lines, quotes from like any TV show or song ever. And people get really mad because I usually know exactly like the lyrics of a song or what is directionally, like verbatim said in something, and I can memorize that pretty well. Uh, well, my father invented toaster strudel. <laughs> That's a mean girl's quote. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't know, I love like fridges, <laughs> like fridge doors opening. Realistically, I would have loved to go into something in like food service, like cooking in a restaurant, being a chef, something high pressure. I think I definitely thrive under that environment. Um, unrealistically, I would have loved to have been like Michael Bublé and be a singer in front of a live jazz band, but I'm a horrible singer, so it's never gonna happen. <laughs> I'm, s I'm still alive. <laughs> Can, is that an answer? Uh, no, I don't. I don't like to drive fast. Um, I don't like driving in general, but uh, if I did have to, I'd probably be very cautious. I was very ambitious as a kid, so I wanted to do a lot of things. Um, but I do remember at one point I wanted to be a professional marionettist and puppeteer, and um, also wanted to be a jeweler at some point. But I think I was really weird because I had both of those occupational choices. <laughs> Freddie Mercury. Apparently he was crazy and I worship him for it. <laughs> I want to be one of those people who says that nothing because, you know, everything you do up to this point creates who you are, which I totally agree with. I think that's a really valid point. But I really wish I could go back in time and tell my younger self to not care as much about what other people think. <laughs> you know what I'm not successful at? Talking with a microphone on my shirt. Um, I think that success is subjective and everyone has their own level, but um, I've gotten definitely this far from really working hard and just kind of accepting the thing that's in the moment and honestly being a little lucky too. A ton of hard work, um, obviously innate talent, and you have to be a little bit lucky, just right place at the right time, and honestly a good attitude a good attitude towards life and everything that's happening to you? Um, I have no idea. We should take some water. <laughs> I think that the future is great. It's bright. It looks as good as ever. Um, I do think that sometimes because this industry is so crazy that we get lost in the thought that, you know, it's so difficult, it's so much work. Um, but I think if we actually take a step back and relax a little bit and enjoy classical music for what it is, I think we'll reach even more people and it'll be better than ever. <laughs>